Today we're going to take a male temp of your sample to determine its identity. Here I have a graduated pipette, Tim White sample, capillary tube, and male temp apparatus with a thermometer. Now you want to take the open end of the capillary tube and tap it gently on the sample. You don't want to tap it too hard because if you do so, the sample will not fall down to the bottom of the, of the tube. And if your sample is not dry, it will not fall down to the bottom of the tube either. But once you have enough sample, take the Kim wipe and hold the tube like this and just tap it gently on the counter. As you can see, my sample has fallen down to the tube, but if it doesn't do so, then you want to take the graduated pipette and just drop it down like this. That will ensure you that all your sample has fallen down to the bottom of the capillary tube. And just take it over to the mouth temp apparatus and put it in this slot right here. This slot can actually hold more than one sample and turn it on. Here's your light source and that's your eyepiece where you will be viewing your um, sample. Now there are two temperatures that you want to make note of. First, make note of the temperature when your sample starts sweating, like when it's just about to melt. You can see a little bit of liquid coming out. And then take a second temperature when um, your sample has completely melted. And those two samples should give you your melt temp range for your sample for your product. And you want to turn the sample on to number 6 for your first spread run. Number dial 6 will give you 150 degrees in 5 minutes. So you can just get a rough idea of um, the range of when your sample will be melting. So for your second run, you can just adjust the um, dial to about number 4 when you're about 20 or 30 degrees away from your um, previous melted temperature. Now, however, you may also want to consult the chart on the prep hood because that chart will tell you um, what temperature correlates to what um, dial so you can determine better for your product. And once you're done, you just have to turn the machine off, remove the capillary tube, and what you want to make sure is that you remove your um, thermometer and place it back in your holder in the hood. You don't want to put it horizontally on the counter because that will break the thermometer and we don't want that to happen. So just put it back in your hood and we're done.